so as we have done with the docker installation in the last video so when i'm writing the docker version it is showing me the docker version but uh, the docker is not running docker daemon is not running as you can see there is an error so we will be resolving this error in this video so let's just start so we'll going to check from the desktop version first first uh, look for the docker desktop and it is opening now so as i open this a uh, message is shown that uh, the virtualization and data execution protection must be enabled in the bios so this problem is related to my bios my virtualization is actually not uh, enabled but uh, there might be some few other uh, problems as you can see the first uh, precaution you need to have uh, while uh, running docker so just write windows turn off feature turn off windows feature okay where is the option of windows feature ah here it is so on that you will have to check the hyper v is checked yes it is fine and the other you need to check is v virtual machine platform mm, it's all fine so the configuration is fine actually i know the problem the second problem might be with you if uh, it shows you with the bios problem then i'll be showing you that how to resolve that and just follow this step you need to check all this uh, basically it is uh, shown on the docker site so i'm just confirming that whether all, uh, all the checks are enabled so it is fine from the configuration end so i'll just have to restart my pc for the bios uh, 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 enable enable of virtualization okay the other uh, verification you can do by opening the task manager so i have uh, enabled the uh, virtualization uh, through bios so i showed a picture uh, for the guidance of you all that uh, there would be when you go to the bios uh, setting while uh, restarting your pc uh, the option you will get a configuration in the configuration as i am using intel machine so there is a option of virtual technology you just have to go to this and click on this enable okay and this will unsafe save your setting and restart your pc and this will enable your virtualization through the bios my uh, bios was uh, this uh, virtualization was locked from through the bios so i have enabled it so as now i'm going to check task manager and in the task manager i'll going to the more details performance and in the performance as i, I can see my virtualization is enabled okay that's fine now i'm done with uh, that so i'll be uh, more one more one step ahead for the using the docker all right when i rerun this uh, docker desktop it's showing me this error the wsl2 installation is incomplete uh, basically we need to install a linux kernel for that so it's not uh, the matter to get worried just uh, click on the link that it is showing so i'll be clicking this and it will navigate to a page where the required linux kernel is uh, there so i'll be just downloading this okay 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 and yes this is step number four i have to follow so i click on the download and it is getting download mm -hmm. Let's wait for a while till it downloads. And here is all the guidance. If you feel any uh, problem, uh, basically I have covered all the things in my video. So I will uh, cover the other problem related to uh, BIOS uh, uh, enable of virtualization and uh, other configuration setting 
in the first video we had already done with the installation and everything so i think this won't be any so it just download it let's just install it by clicking next and make it finish it's done okay now we are done with this okay let's just start this docker desktop again and it is better to restart your pc and now i start this and let's just check it there is no image no container running because we have a fresh installation so we'll be covering all these topic in the upcoming later videos